You said Tom Holland, the magic word. So let's talk about it here. Now, take this story with a grain of salt, but this is a scooper, and they have been proving themselves right in the past. Um, we got some wild, you know, PlayStation video game news turning into a movie. So this is from My Time to Shine Hello, where they have it here. Tom Holland to play Jax. Chris Pratt-Eyed to voice Dexter in live-action Jack and Dexter movie from Sony, directed by Ruben Fischer, Venom, and Uncharted. This is probably something that is in the works and going to happen. I don't know how to feel about it. Now, if you're someone who hasn't played uh, Jax and Dexter, don't worry. It was kind of an underrated game. I remember playing it a bit and thinking it was really cool. I was more of a Ratchet and Clank man, uh, but either way, uh, Jax and Dexter were awesome. Like It was just a fun dynamic Little, little, uh, you know, 2D environment, side-scrolling, a lot of fun and things you can do in there. It's a very kooky fantasy world. It's definitely something you could do. I'm surprised they want to go live action with it. This feels like something that you could do animated, and it would probably look really awesome, especially with the things they're doing with animation. But it was just these two. They would team up, do little missions. I can't even remember the exact plot of the games, if I'm being honest with you. But I remember having fun with them. And so... It's like they're bringing the stars of Onward from Pixar's Onward and making Tom Holland the live action Jax and then Chris Pratt lending his voice again to an animated CGI character. Chris Pratt is literally just like at home recording lines all day like, it's a me, Mario. I hate Monday's lasagna because he's also voicing Garfield. And now he's going to be uh daxter here which i don't even know what he would say he was always kind of a snarky character though so he's gonna have a lot to say i don't know how to feel about this playstation studios has been doing kind of okay like i was i was thinking of making this a, a youtube short but i can bring it up now uh playstation studios they've been doing kind of okay i feel like they don't have that many bad projects uh, I thought Twisted Metal was going to be their worst project, but that ended up being a pleasant surprise. So, no, sorry, one sec. So, as you know, uh, PlayStation right now has their own little studio. Let me pull that up. I love their little startup logo. It was in front of um, Gran Turismo PlayStation Studio logo. I think it's so cool. It has all the characters you would want in there. So, this is like the opening animation you get from when you go watch a PlayStation Studio movie. So, if you saw Uncharted with Tom Holland, if you're going to see Gran Turismo, you're going to see this logo. It's just cool. I, th I think it's kind of fancy looking. Shows you some of the people that they have in their lineup and whatnot. And that comes up. It's their Marvel Cinematic Universe logo, right? And here's what we've had so far. So, we've had the Uncharted film, which was their first thing. Then we had Gran Turismo, which I just did a review of. It's on the YouTube channel. It's not a bad movie. I think it's fine. It's enjoyable. It's not like an amazing biopic, but like meshing a biopic with a video game adaptation, it actually worked. And David Harbour makes that movie uh, really enjoyable. Uh, then we had Last of Us, which I'm going to say right now, Last of Us is like the best thing they have made so far as far as like adapting from the video game, being faithful, still making it entertaining, adding some new things in there. Last of Us by far, I think is number one. Uh, so if I say like Last of Us is number one, then I'm going to go, I think it'd be, let me see, was there anything else that they came out with? So I guess it then it would be Gran Turismo for me. Then it would be uh, Twisted Metal. Uh, then Uncharted Last. Uh, nothing against Uncharted. Yes, I had fun with it, but like it just it didn't remind me of the game. Uh, every other project in here, even Twisted Metal, reminded me of the game Twisted Metal. It felt like it, and just because Uncharted did a couple of the the set pieces from the game. I didn't get Nathan Drake vibes from Tom Holland. I get what they were trying to do with a younger version, and I'd be down to see a sequel, but it doesn't look like it's going to be happening, especially if they're going to have him play Jackson Dexter. That, just, that feels like a big budget movie there. Like I said, it's a fantasy world, you know, big landscape deserts, a CGI creature with him at all times. I would be shocked if this ends up happening, because, again, Ruben Fisher is the one who also did Uncharted. And... How much money did Uncharted make? Uncharted did good or no? Uncharted movie. I think, you know, when it came to the reviews, it got it's on 41 on Rotten Tomatoes. It made four. OK, yeah, that thing made money. That thing made money. So they were like, yo, maybe he can't produce, you know, a, a movie critics like. But 
he's got the Michael Bay effect, right? He's got the effect where, like, hey, he makes it look entertaining where people buy tickets and come in. A lot of that, I think, is star power. Tom Holland has just been nailing it with uh, – well, I don't even want to say nailing it because I'll be honest with you. Outside of Spider-Man, there's not a lot of Tom Holland movies I love. I love Tom Holland, the actor, but there's rarely projects he's in where I'm like, that's going to be a bang out. That's going to be awesome for him. They've kind of just been eh for him. So I don't know. This this could be interesting. Uh, I, I'll be willing to give it a chance. Uh, the action would be kind of cool, but uh, <laughs> man, just Chris Pratt and Tom Holland, Jackson Dexter. I can't imagine what they're going to do with Ratchet and Clank if they give him a movie. I know they came out with one in theaters that looked exactly like the video game animation, which I don't think really helped it. Uh, but yeah, this, this could be something. This could be something.